Dr. William Folds is a wildlife veterinarian working in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. Today, his mission is to relocate five elephant bulls from one game reserve to another. Using state-of-the-art equipment, the goal is to enhance the genetic diversity within various herds across different reserves. Getting rid of some of the breeding bulls is an important part of allowing space for new bulls to come into those herds and to allow new genetics to disperse within those herds. Wild animal relocation is a task veterinarians perform often, but elephants pose unique challenges due to their massive size and distinctive anatomy. The logistics are both fascinating and extraordinarily complex. This groundbreaking technique enhances the efficiency and safety of the relocation process. Scientists ensure that each elephant is moved for a clear ecological reason, determined by extensive preliminary studies. So really, any, any three will work here, but the problem with the 11-year-old that looks a lot like the one I want to dart, he's still with the herd. After darting, the real challenge begins. Once tranquilized, maintaining an open area is crucial for accessibility, allowing the team to position their equipment close enough to perform the lift efficiently. Today's operation involves sophisticated mechanical engineering, the crane that's being used can lift up to 32 tons, far more than an elephant's weight, which is an average of two to seven tons. This capacity is crucial to extend the crane's reach into thickets, allowing the team to lift them with minimal disturbance to their natural environment. Another innovative tool at the team's disposal is the recovery box designed specifically for these operations. This device has transformed the handling of post-relocation awakenings, enabling elephants to stand from a position that significantly reduces their stress and the risk of injury. The recovery box has only been used seven times before. The new challenge is instead of them being pulled into the recovery box, on their sides or lifted in by their feet. We are actually going to strap them in a way that we can swing them in using the crane, but vertically, in other words, in a standing position, but while they're still asleep. And the mechanics of how that strapping works and how that, those straps then get removed once that animal is woken up, literally hanging with its feet down, that makes today's procedure very stressful and complicated and a lot of moving parts have to all come together simultaneously for that to happen safely for the elephant and for the humans that are busy disconnecting all those attachment points. We do top them up so just before we're going to put the straps on to lift him up with his feet hanging uh, we give him a little top up and, and that's just to ensure that he gets moved into that recovery box asleep and he doesn't injure anyone. You will notice as he swings into that recovery box now, someone has to walk in front of him holding his trunk so that it doesn't get bent and, and suffocate him. So there are moments here where, you know, if he had to wake up suddenly with a human being inside that box, it would be catastrophic. And we have to ensure that 
he remains asleep, but still in a physiological situation that's comfortable for him. Each elephant requires careful handling and monitoring, particularly given the vast distances they travel. The recovery process is delicate. Once the elephant is safely in the recovery box, the team monitors its vitals, ensuring it awakens calmly in a controlled environment. This critical phase is perhaps the most challenging, as they detach the transport harnesses swiftly to prevent any complications. Historically, elephant migrations could cross vast distances across many thousands of kilometers. In today's world, if not proactively managed, these elephants can breach reserve boundaries, leading to conflicts with local communities. In extreme cases, problematic elephants must be culled, a last resort to prevent human-elephant conflicts. Dr. Folds' work aims to preemptively manage these situations, contributing to both community safety and elephant conservation. we do as we're traveling through the countryside. The truck driver is in constant communication with us. If that bull starts to become restless, he can feel him moving around on the back there. They are big enough actually that if they were to panic and move around too quickly, they could, they could roll that truck if it was going around a corner and an elephant started bouncing around in the back. Every member of the team plays a vital role in today's relocation. From Dr. Folds preparing the darts to the helicopter pilots overseeing the operation from above, each step is executed with precision to ensure the safety of both the elephants and the ground crews. In, they must go into that box. The cutting-edge solutions that have been implemented moving these elephants to new homes will help shape the future of elephant conservation. Each relocation is a step toward more sustainable management of their populations, ensuring that these iconic giants continue to thrive in the wild. And they're certainly a very important piece of the puzzle of reconnecting humanity back to nature, understanding just how important that interrelationship is between ourselves as human beings and our natural world and how dependent we are, interdependent we are on the natural world. So their future survival is intimately associated with ours at many levels and it's so important to look after them well, to create space for them, and in the meantime to manage them as responsibly as we possibly can.